In question 14, we have to look at the adjoining figure on the right side and we have to find pairs of angles according to the conditions given in each of these parts. So for example, in the first part, we have to name a pair of obtuse vertically opposite angles. In part 2, we have to name a pair of adjacent complementary angles and so on. So before we do that, let's look at, let's analyze the figure that uh, that's given to us. So this figure basically has two lines AOC and BOD intersecting each other at this point O. And then we also have this ray OE uh, which originates from O. And basically from the figure we can say that this ray OE is actually meant to be perpendicular to the line BOD. So this is what this figure is. And now let's go to each part and find the appropriate pairs of angles. So in the first part, we have to find a pair of obtuse vertically opposite angles. So if we look at the figure uh, carefully, uh, if we look at this angle AOD, AOD, this angle forms a pair of uh, vertically opposite angles with this angle, which is angle BOC. And we can see that both of these angles are obtuse angles. So this pair can be the answer for the first part, uh, angle AOD and angle BOC, these two angles form a pair of obtuse vertically opposite angles. Okay, then we go to part two in which we have to find a pair of adjacent complementary angles. Now, what is the meaning of complementary angles? Well, complementary angles are two angles which sum to 90 degrees. So we have to find two angles, two adjacent angles in this figure whose sum is equal to 90 degrees. And that's actually quite easy to find. If we take this angle and this angle, these two angles have to sum to 90 degrees because angle B O angle B O E, angle B O E, the whole angle is equal to 90 degrees because um, O E O E is perpendicular to B O D as we observed at the beginning of this question. Okay, so two adjacent complementary angles in this figure are angle AOE or we can write it as angle EOA and angle AOB. Okay, so these uh, this is the answer for part 2. Then we come to part 3. In part 3, we have to find equal supplementary angles. So what do we mean by supplementary? Well, Two angles are supplementary if their sum is equal to 180 degrees and if two supplementary angles are equal then both angles must be equal to 90 degrees. And this means that two equal supplementary, uh, supplementary angles in this figure must be this angle uh, which is angle EOB and this angle which is angle EOD. Both of these angles are equal because they are 90 degrees and their sum is 180 so both of these angles are supplementary. So in part 3, our answer will be angle EOB and angle EOD. These, this is a pair of equal supplementary angles. Then we come to part 4 in which we have to find unequal supplementary angles. Okay, so let me give you an example of uh, unequal supplementary angles in this figure. So if we take angle EOA, this angle, and angle EOC, this angle, uh, these two angles add up to 180 degrees because they form a linear pair of angles. So their sum will, uh, will be 180 and hence they will be supplementary and clearly these two angles are unequal angles. So uh, one answer to this part could be angle EOA and angle EOC, these two angles form a pair of uh, unequal supplementary angles and in NCRT this is the only answer given but this is not the only possible pair of unequal supplementary angles because uh, let me show you another example so if you take angle AOB this angle and angle BOC these two angles also form a linear pair of angles and these two angles are unequal so these two angles also form a, a pair of unequal supplementary angles so another possible answer to this uh, part could have been angle AOB and angle BOC.
C. And similarly, there are some other pairs of unequal supplementary angles in this figure. And I will leave it to you as an exercise to find those parts. Okay, but just let me reiterate the point that in NCRT, uh, only this answer is given angle EOA and angle EOC. But uh, in the figure, there are actually more answers that are possible. Okay, then we finally come to part 5 in which we have to find adjacent angles that do not form a linear pair, which means their sum should not be 180 degrees. So let's try and find a few of uh, such pairs. So if we take angle AOB and angle AOE these two angles uh, are a pair of adjacent angles but they do not form a linear pair their sum is not 180 degrees so this could be one possible pair angle AOB and angle AOE then do we have other such pairs well if we take let's say AOE this angle and EOD these two angles add up to angle AOD which is less than 180 degrees as we can see in the figure so this could be another possible uh, answer for this part angle AOE and angle EOD okay then a third possible answer could be uh, if we take let's say angle EOD and angle DOC these two angles these two angles add up to angle EOC uh, which is again less than 180 degrees. So a third possible pair here could be angle EOD and angle DOC. So these could be the answers for part 5. Okay and with this we have completed question number 14. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.